Hi. I've got here Paul Tillich's book here, The Courage to Be, and I'm going to be asking my angel Thrikba what she's thinking when I read to her some of these passages, or just if she wants to react through my body. So if I were to say something like, hey Thrikba, how you doing? She nods my head, yes, yes, she's doing good. Do you want a flower? Yes, she does. She wants a daisy and some baby breath. And the baby breath is going to be kind of a dark gray color, she says, or she wants. And I'm giving it to her right now. She says, Ahava. Ahava to Threakbot. That's my angel Threakbot. Threakbot also is, is angel hope, so it's the same. <laughs> so <clears throat> I've got here the courage to be. And I'm going to go to page. Let me ask her what page she wants. 56, she says because she pointed my eyes looking at the um, the time we've spent talking. It's been 56 seconds, so <clears throat> now I'm going to page 56. How do you like this so far? How are you doing, Thrikbot? We're doing bad? No, she says. We're doing good, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so uh, what do you think about Michelangelo, Thrikbot? He's from our day and time now. He's from the Renaissance. And what do you think about Christopher Marlowe's Hamlet? She doesn't like that idea. What do you think about William Shakespeare's Hamlet? It's the best she's saying. <clears throat> okay, three bot, let's take it away. All right, I'm going to read a passage, and it says here, Similar experiences of the desert or the night of the soul are frequent among mystics. Hey, three bot, I'm not a mystic, am I? I'm not. I am a mystic. She says, I am a mystic. Why am I a mystic? Because I talk to you angels. That's what qualifies me. What if I were to talk to my mom? No. What if I were to talk to one of my friends that are human friends? No. Being a mystic, you have to talk to angels, right? What about if I wanted to talk to, like, a demon or something? She says, there is no de such thing as a demon. All right. <clears throat> well, then, uh, then I'm set, then. I'm a mystic. But we don't like that word, right? What's a better word than a mystic? She says, that's a good question. A subject? That's kind of good though, right? I mean, it's if you're the matter, I'm the subject, right? All right, let's, let's not go there. <clears throat> so about that similar experiences of the desert or the night of the soul. <clears throat> so this night, okay, it's not night, it's day. <laughs> this day of the soul is frequent among mystics. So is this what, what, what Paul Tillich's talking about? That it's daytime and I'm talking with an angel, so... Yes, she says it's pretty much it. But it doesn't have any meaning, though, does it? It does have meaning? Oh, okay. Back to Christopher Marlowe's Hamlet. I mean Shakespeare's Hamlet, yes. Here it says, in Michelangelo's Prophets and Sibyls, and in Shakespeare's Hamlet, there are indications of a potential anxiety of meaninglessness. <clears throat> so if I have angels, and I read Hamlet to you, and Hamlet is meaningless. Okay, Hamlet has meaninglessness. The character has meaninglessness. Paul Tillich's saying. She says that's pretty good. <clears throat> hey, Threakbot, what do you think of the New World? She says, do not do that right now. Do not go there right now. What do you think about like a gold? I'm thinking of like a kind of pony. No, you don't like that idea. Okay. <clears throat> what about like the the church? I mean, you're all, y'all are angels. <laughs> you're angels, right? So <laughs> she says, no. All right. But they're good angels. You're good angels though. Why wouldn't you be in the church? <laughs> Because angels are not, these angels aren't Christian angels, but they're still just as good as any angels. They're all, they're all, none of them are Christian angels. Okay. Very, very good. Let's go then to, what did you think of when you angels, you in particular, Thurik, but were in the Middle Ages? Did you skip that time period? <laughs> she says, uh-huh. All right then, that's pretty good. And it says here, the late Middle Ages was not a period of doubt. 
Is that why you skipped it? Because you wanted more uncertainty? She says, do not get it. Let me straighten this up a bit. Hey, Thrikbot, what do you say we read one of our poems? All right, she says, that's pretty good. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to this poem book, New Sonnets and Other Poems. Who? What's the angel, Thrikbot, that you want to find that has helped me write one of these poems? O-O-T. And angel O-O-T is angel Ora Ora T for a type. So I'm going to, since I have 33 angel wives, I'm going to go find or or T for a type. And here, here's one. <clears throat> okay, this is sonnet 24. Do you want me to talk to her? Just you? Actually, her, she says. Okay, so now we're with or or T for a type. That's Jill. <clears throat> She's my first angel wife. My first wife in, in the whole world, even though she's from heaven. <clears throat> hey, Jill, how you doing? Big bod and you get red roses, right? Orange roses, too, and pink uh, baby baby's breath. <clears throat> she says, thank you, Billy M. Oh, how about? Now, still up again to make your feelings clean, and think with all your heart when nothing's said, Whenever nothingness has pushed your head, you make some hopeful questions come between. What kind? Those more persuasive certain ways? Your sunshine fights the sky with its own fire and comes to spring its godlike power higher within your flying leafy kingdom's days. <clears throat> with all establishments of truth, you're beat, and you can't tell what any truth is for, when beauty and a happy life is more, you will condemn old manners with your heat, which is required to form a light not small to shine its humble kindness back to all. <clears throat> Shall I read the footnote or or tifreta? All right, this is what Thrikbot says in the footnote. She underlines the last four, um, well, I underlined it, but we know what we're, we're saying. Maybe, here's the footnote. Maybe it is happening right now. I'm getting what I had wanted. And that's what I say. And then Threakbot says, uh-huh. That's the footnote. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. I just, okay. So I'm going to put this. No, I'm not going to put it down. Here's another one uh, by Angel or Malak Teresa with me. uh -huh. Sonnet number 25, not everybody's at peace when cruelest winds in airy manners make their widest swear, and lost in obligations curse the air, the city's cold, unhappy Helen minds. Still Helen's face has come for buddy time, so counsel her when pleasures are most due. Now falling open lies your way, and you shall play your role that Helen's own may climb. Thus mercy waits. Why tell a, should I stop? Keep going, okay. Why tell a white one now for super readers' fancy money bags? Are you not friendly enough, though your friendship lags? All cruelest men have put an end to play. To stop these lads, please love them every day. Shall I read the footnote? And that's Teresa that says, don't read the footnote. I also have here, Emma, should I read this right now, the entire novel? Uh, out loud in this um, video. She says, go for it. Just kidding. She says, no. <clears throat> All right, going back to Tillock. Paul Tillock. What do you think about that name, Paul, Teresa? She says, it's Tove. She says, it's very good. That's the name of one of our children. Oh, okay. Good. One of our children in room, when uh, Will is waving, right? That's their heaven. No, she says, in Room Boom, right? Yes, in Room Boom. Room Boom's the heaven of the writers, right? Okay, Room Boom's the heaven of the musicians, yes. All right. Hey, th hey Teresa, are we living in an age of anxiety? We kind of are on Earth, not the angels, though. Everybody pretty much on Earth. Well, we don't want anxiety, do we? That's a yes, right? That's a no. Okay. All right, let's read a little bit from top. What? Okay. 
Uh, forgiveness of sin? I don't have any sins, do I, to be forgiven from, do I? That's a good question, she says. What do you call sin, though? Sin is, according to Franz Kafka, impatience. Do I have impatience, then? She says, I kind of do. To get out of the age, age of anxiety into an age of book reading. That's it, she says. All right. <clears throat> well, it's been 10 minutes and 37 seconds. Should I stop? She says, go for it. Thanks for watching.